Hey everybody, welcome out to some more Dragon Fable. So we're gonna continue on now with Attix's questline. So the last time we did the too many cooks, and now we're just gonna be sat in the green mist. Something's been bothering me, Midnight. Noxus has built Sepulchre a massive army, and I think I may know how. In order to explain, I'll need to start at the beginning. Many years ago in Doomwood. I grew up in a village here in Doomwood. It was not very large, but it was large enough that I had never met Bill before that day. I was in the forest outside of town chopping wood, when I heard someone calling for help. Whew, nearly done. Help, someone please help me, brother. That is coming from the river, I'm coming. I ran to the river as fast as I could. Fast as fuck, boy. Keemstar would be proud. <laughs> he kind of runs to a weird look. <sighs> very strange, man. I saw that someone, a little girl, had fallen into the river. She was climbing into a rock, but the current was too strong for her. I had to try and save her. I was right to hold on. I will go get help. Help. I can't hold on. Please help me. Town was not too far, but I knew that by the time I returned, she would be gone. I tried to reach her, but he fucked it up, but I slipped. And then he died. The rest is darkness. Sometime later, I awoke to the sound of sobbing. Cry. Cry, sniff. Cough, splurt. <laughs> uh, what happened? What a ride. Note to self. Next time, use a tree branch to reach the person in the river. You're alive? I think so. How can I tell? Ow, my head. Where are we? I don't know. The river must have washed us up in this cave. You're from my village, right? I'm Vale. Yeah, I live in the village too, with my brother. What about your parents? They're dead. It's just me and my brother now. We look out for each other. He'll be worried if I don't come home before sunset. He's the strongest, bravest, best brother ever. If he was here, he would know how to get us out of this cave. Don't worry, Vale. My name is Artix. I will get you back to your brother as soon as I can. I think I see a tunnel over there. There is no need to be scared. Follow me. I will protect you. Okay. Awesome. What's kind of matter all these stupid shrooms? I see light. It looks like we have made out though. What's that light? It's pulsing. I don't think we should. Bill, come back. We should leave. Do not forget about your brother, he'll be worried. Ah. Bill, I'm coming. I knew exactly where we were as soon as I saw the chamber. This looks like the old guardian tower. We should not be here. Are you alright? What, what happened to you? I'm fine, I think. I just touched the orb. As I lifted the orb, I heard it talking to me. It was whispering in my mind. It said that I would have great strength and great power. It said that if I could increase the power a thousandfold, if it gave myself over to the darkness. There was a moment when I almost, but I did not. Right then and there, I decided to turn my back on the darkness forever. That was when I decided to become a power for good. I'm leaving Vale. This is a bad place and we should not be here. Come on. But Veil took the orb. Once we get back to the village, things did not go quite as I expected. Veil, I was so worried. What? What are those wings? What? Brother, please don't be mad. I got lost and this boy found me. His name is Artix and he... You? Somebody you did this to my little sister. You, stay away from her. But no, I... I said stay away. 
That night, I was still trying to find a way to explain things to Phil's brother. That is when the green mist rolled in. Suddenly, everyone in town was transformed into zombies. On that night, I lost everything and everyone that I ever knew. I had no choice. I had to fight my way out. That's my dad. Hey, dad. Ugly bitch. Boom. This is grandma. Bitch. This is the random old man that used to... Touch him down there, bitch. As I looked back at the village, I saw a person with wings. But then, the figure was lost in the smoke. I turned my back on the village and ran for my life. I knew nobody could survive that. I thought I was the only one who lived. I wandered in the woods for I don't know how long. Eventually, I reached the end of my strength. I thought that I was done for. Then... Hello there, young man. Would you like some tea? She nursed me back to health and began training me to battle the force of evil. But I had enough tea to last for a lifetime. My contact with the orb had changed me. I could now sense the presence of the undead, and I instinctively knew that the best way to battle them. A few years later, I joined the Paladin Order as a Paladin in training. I put all the thoughts of the village behind and looked forward to my new life. Then, when I saw Vale, it all came back to me. She and I were the only ones who survived that night. We were unchanged by the green mist. She and I were the only ones who touched the orb. I think that the orb was the element orb of darkness. I do not know how, but I think Nox has got his hands on it and is using its power to help construct Sepulchre's army. If I am right, stopping Nox is more important than I ever thought. I am just glad that you are by my side, Binnert. Together, I know that we can stop Noxus and the Necromancers. Now that you know the mysterious connection between Lady Vale and Artex, but how did Vale survive the Green Mist? Where has she been all this time? Does Noxus have the darkness orb? Is anyone still reading this? <laughs> Alright, so next up we're on Artics vs the Undead. You may have noticed, but this whole area is on a gigantic graveyard that sits right on top of the necropolis. Much of the graveyard has been claimed by the marshlands on the northern and western edges. I have seen some necromancers going in and out of that area and I think they are getting a lot of their materials from there. We should go and see if we can do something about that. It looks like your hunch was right, Artix. Then we'll start with her. Since she has a head start, we will have to fight our way through the undead that she has already raised. I'm not scared of a fight. It is this time we gave this Necromantress a little payback for attacking Moorridge and Falconridge. And for once we have the element of surprise on our side. You brought a surprise elemental. I mean, we have the drop on the Necromantress. She will never see us coming. They will be coming your way very soon, my pupil. This time I'll finish these heroes. Make certain that you do. I find your previous failures very disturbing. It is unlike you to fail so utterly. There will be no holding back this time, Necromantress. When the time comes, summon Edgar. Do I make myself clear? Edgar? But if, I, but if I place his spirit in the risk, do I make myself clear? Yes, Master. It'll be done. Very good. This place looks like Shrek Swamp. It just pops out of the bog. And he's like, oh, hello there. And you're like, ah. That would be the scariest thing I've ever seen. I don't know about you, but I would say that would be. It'd be like the best, not the best, particularly the worst, jump scare of ever in any existence. I oh, made it out of the swamp and Shrek didn't get us. Oh, cutscene. Big man. Yikes. I think you're going to need something a little bigger. Hmm. 
He may be right. <laughs> this should do. Ready? To battle, Ale. To battle. Look at his hammer. If any would keep that, because it's generally just a better weapon. I mean, if he. Where's the commission? Yes. Right. Wait, wait, does he have immobility 2? That's a really weird number just to have. 2. What the fuck's the point of that? I don't know how to take damage go through the roof. 59 to 6. Uh, that looks the same, I think. It does a lot more. Goodbye, Edgar. Send me a postcard from hell. Ah, lol. You didn't see that one coming. I think it says. I'm trying to shit himself. I've got that spear. Mine's better though. Mine's cooler. Now we have you. Uh, let us see who hides beneath those purple robes. You won't veiled veil. Um, it, like, obviously I've seen this before, but I mean, anyone could have expected that, I guess. I have to admit, I saw that coming, Sam. You, you animals. Us? You destroyed my brother. What do you expect? You literally sent him after us to kill us. So, I'm sorry for self-defense, but you know. I have kept his spirit safe in this spirit crystal for years. Ever since that night. I was so close to getting knocked to teach me how to bring him back. Now that his spirit is gone forever, it's all your fault. Bill, if what you say is true, then you have been keeping his spirit captive. The spirits of the dead long to move on. Noxus was lying to you when he said that he would teach you how to get your brother back. If his life force was really captive all his years, then there was probably nothing left to you, brother, to... No, you lie. I loved my brother, Edgar, and you destroyed him. I hate you, Artix. I hate you. Noxus was right. I should have destroyed you when I had the chance. Bill. Please, Vale, listen to Artics. I was holding back because of what happened when we were children, but that's over now. I will avenge my brother if it's the last thing I do. You will pay. Both of you will pay. Again, what did we expect? Artics, if she has gone to warn Noxus, then we don't have a lot of time. We have to give out to Noxus and stop him. I do not believe that it was her. Stop out of it, Paladin. So Budger won't wait for his undead army, but we have the world to save from darkness. Yes, you're right. Noxus has to be stopped. Now. Poor deluded Vil does not seem to want to understand that you and Athix have freed their brother's life force from a tormented captivity. You may have just made a dangerous new foe in the necropolis. A new foe? Uh, she was already a foe, I'm pretty sure. Noxus fumes. It looks like the last of Spudger's Undead Army is being taken care of by the other heroes of Falkerich. That means that we are free to go down to the necropolis and finish this. We have to get the dinosaur from Noxus at all costs. I can't believe the necropolis is so empty now that the army is defeated. I cannot believe how much power you and the other heroes of Falkerich have when you work towards a common goal. I had a great time stomping these skeletons into the ground. I just wish there had been more. Athics, we beat five million of them. You beat the other five million by yourself. I know, I feel like I got ripped off. Oh well, at least Noxus should have something interested up his sleeve. I just hope that we are ready for whatever he throws us. I hope that he's ready for us. Let's go. We can't let us aim and escape the dinosaur. Pretty sure it's like the only song I ever had like actual lyrics in. Don't I know. We can turn it off in a sec.
Wow, we are taking an absolute beating. Kinda sad. I've only killed like four enemies. And I think these guys hit really hard luck. I mean, I think it does like over 100 per hit. Nearly 200. Like, I understand I'm a high level now, but why, why do the enemies have to hit so hard? Like 200 damage, that's a lot. For this sort of level, because I have like below 1000 HP. That means in like 5 hits I'm dead. Oh well I'm pretty sure we get some healing when we get to do the next boss fight. Noxus, are you in here? There he is. Ah uh, good. I took some minute right on time. So we're into the darkness of Noxus and we may let you walk out of Doomwood. Spuds are as in ways of dealing with failures like you. Give you the darkness orb? You cannot control its power. I would never have handed it to you, even if I had it. You don't have it. Only an Ecomancer with the power of the darkness orb could have built that army. Don't you fools understand yet? Attics, the day that you and Vale came out of the Guardian Tower, Vale brought the power with her. Lady Vale is the elemental orb of darkness now. I alone control her. I had spent months trying to enter the chamber beneath the Guardian Tower. But on that day, I felt the power of the orb leave the chamber on its own. Imagine my surprise when I felt all that dark power flowing from a little girl. I knew that the orb had chosen to bind with this girl, and if I couldn't control the orb, then I would control the girl. After I saved her from the town and watched it burn together, I began to teach her. Thank you for saving me, Master Noxus. But my brother, I wish you could have saved him too. I wish it wasn't too late. When you're a necromancer, child, there is no such thing as too late. I can teach you if you like. Simply focus on your brother's energy. Imagine capturing it in a bottle. Master Noxus, I did it. I can feel him inside that crystal. Help me. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds like he's in pain. Uh, how do we help him? He just wants to live again, that's all. We will find a way, Bill. If you become my student, I will teach you that all that is to know. We will find a way to bring him back. Do you promise? Do you promise that you can bring Edgar back? I will, it will take much hard work on your part. But yes, I promise, Bill. Since that day, I've been using her, the power inside her, for myself. I have to be careful not to teach her too much. With the all bound to her, she could easily overpower me. The years passed and I raised her as a necromantress. In time, with her help, I will become Dean. <laughs> dean of the Necromancy University, and she will become my star student. Once you two troublemakers are finished, so we will to rebuild the Butcher's Undead Army in a matter of moments. So you never even planned on helping her use Necromancy to raise her brother? Raise her brother? Necromancy is using dark power to control the dead, not revive them. Necromancy may have had that kind of power, but I have never seen it. Killing him? He died as a result of the Green Mist. Do you mean that you... That's right. The green mist was a deadly disease I created to wipe out our village. Your village, Antiques. If I know that your exposure to the orb made you resistant to my corruption, I would have made other arrangements. Especially considering what thorn on my side that you, that both you and Midner to become. All that ends here, and now, I'll finish you like the I should have years ago. I will recreate the Undead Army, and I will continue using Vale as my puppet for as long as I can use her brother as bait. I've had enough. All these years, I trusted you. You have been using me. Vale, you misunderstood me. Let me make it clear to you. No more of your lies, Master Noxus. Minert, I can never forgive what you have done. But there still may have been hope. But let me help you finish Noxus. 
With all our power combined, this slug cannot possibly stand against us. Bah, I was going to have to kill you for the orb. Eventually, child. Now is as good time as any. Come, face Noxus and know the power of a true necromancer. Why are these basic stupid minions really strong? They offer only a thousand HP. It's kind of annoying. And Bailey's like the weakest out of both of us. I mean, um, put it into perspective, we have Arthix here. That's our dragon. I don't know why. I thought that was Arthix for some reason. We have, have Arthix, which will do like some pretty good damage, like nearly 200. Then you have Veil, look how much damage she does. Bah! I mean, Sanyavel's not terrible, but her skills are a bit weaker. Shit in hell. Alex only just took like over half his HP from a single hit. Okay, we're screwed. Well, at least Artix is. Maybe not me. I mean, look, look how weak she is. Summon. It's like, well, it's not terrible, but you, you would have thought for like, a character that has lead to the darkness orb inside her. You would have thought she'd do a lot more damage than just... We've killed Noxus and all that is left of him is like one of his minions. Who would have thought his minion would still be alive if we killed him? You know what I mean? It's like... Shouldn't his minion just like cease to function? I've not taken a single hit of damage in this entire fight. All, all these guys have just been ganging up on Attics and Vale. Mainly Attics. Prepare to get f fucked up. Nice. Thank you for your help. Sivia, thanks, my nerd. Noxus is defeated and the Acropolis is empty. That is enough for now. I will continue to find a way to save my brother. I so believe the key is in necromancy. Uh, something you stay here at the university? No, but Necromancy University has been here for centuries, and another master will come along and claim it. I know that you and Sepulchre both need the power of the dinosaur, so I know we will meet again. Just be ready for me. Next time that we meet, it may not be as friends. Farewell. Farewell, Midnight. A few weeks later. Hello? It's so empty. This will make the best dollhouse ever. And it's all mine. You have defeated Dean and followed his plan to have run Doomwood with his army of undead. It's hard to say fail his friend off far. But either way, the darkness of his heads for now. Alright, so extra credit. A movie shows another small Okay. Large problem midnight. It looks like some of Nox's most talented students were working on an extra credit project for his advanced monster creation class. Anyway, after we defeated Noxus, I was poking around in some of the undead labs looking for leftovers, and I kind of set it loose. Eh, yeah. everyone makes mistakes, right? Weak smile. It is very large. I'm pretty sure that only a dragon lord can defeat a monster this powerful. I tried to handle it myself, but I think I only made it bad. I've given it a hangnail. Someone dragging a fight. Let's see what this guy is then. There he is. I actually forgot what he looked like then, I just remembered. Burn, you prick. Rest in peace, Skeller Titan. Wrecked. You've destroyed the Skeller Titan and ruined any chance of the Necro you students to get extra credit. I hope you're happy. I am. Spectrus Helm. That looks kind of weird. Alright, so we got to leave this on here. So we've done the Arctic Sea Starland for the Darkness Orb. Even though we didn't actually claim the Darkness Orb. That is for later. But next time, we're going to be doing the Bacon Origins. I always hate doing this quest sign. Not because I actually think it's a bad quest sign. It is just the same with this and... Rise of the Dragon Mage, it kind of takes you away from the main story. It kind of puts you in these um, side story quest signs. But either way, it's got to be done if we're going to follow the timeline. So either way, next time Bacon Origins. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.